Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another video from Chancellor TV. We're out here at Chancellor Ranch and I'm with my boy Travis and we were thinking the other day, we were sitting around, weren't we Travis, and we were talking about a 9mm round, the difference between a full metal jacketed round and a hollow point, but more specifically when it's not hitting a soft target, when it's hitting a hard target such as a vehicle, like a car door. What kind of penetration does it get? And yes, I figure it's going to make a difference whether, you know, you're shooting through the door and your window's up. That's one less layer, at least for the first round or two, that your bullet has to travel through, you know. But with the window down, it's one more layer to break up a bullet. And so I was kind of thinking that the full metal jacket round... I was telling Travis that I think it'll go through. I think that's going to go all the way through the skins of the door, the outer skin, the inner skin. Now, the only thing is if it hits the motor on yeah. the inside. That motor should stop it because that's solid metal. It should. Um, but the hollow point at 9mm, is that going to... That should fragment off. It's going through somewhere, I would think. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is, is once it hits that first one, it's going to break apart. So I don't think it's going to have enough to go through all the way through but there's only one way to find out guys and we're also going to test a his wife's 380 um don't have any full metal jacket rounds for that one we only have hollow points but we're going to go ahead and you know we'll give it a couple sins while we're here so uh travis i guess uh we should just get to it huh let's get this party started let's do it All right, guys, here we go. Travis is going to send the first round using the 380 with plus P hollow points. Fire when ready, brother. Safety. All right. I'm actually pretty impressed by that. I've seen something on the inside go. That's a solid hole, all right. Where's 380? Look at it bubble. Bubbled up the paint. Oh, right through. Right through. I can say I've seen the inside of the car, the dust fly in it. But it caught in the handle. Oh, that driver would have been lucky. Feel, the bullet went through and it caught in the back side of the handle. Oh, gee, I could feel the fragments of the bullet. Yeah. Yep. All right, okay. well, a three, I'm, man. I'm very impressed. I am super impressed by that one. Okay. That's awesome. All right, well, uh, let's step it up to a nine millimeter with a full metal jacketed round. And we're going to try it on two different doors. We're going to try it on this same door, but we're also going to try it on this one that hasn't been shot yet and still has the window down inside of it. So, uh, <clears throat> Travis, you already ready with a nine millimeter? Yeah, yeah, All right, you're on point today, man. Uh -huh. Um, one in each door. One in each door. Right. One in each door, sir. Yeah, definitely got the glass on that one. Let's see here. Oh yeah, through and through. Now that one made it. Yeah, it made it through Look, the other door too. Yeah, it went into the other door. I'm interested to see how far it actually went. All right, and it stopped inside of the driver's door. Right there. Somewhere up in there. So it hit that skin. Um, I can't tell if it broke. It never even touched on this side of the... No, it didn't even break the glass inside the door. Oh. So. Okay. All right, but let's see your second shot. 
Here's a back door, the one that had the glass. Oh, it made it through. Oh, yes, it did. Now, did it punch through? I don't know if it went low into the seat. I can't really see over there. But, all right, well, nine millimeter FMJ will definitely rock your world in a car. Let's move it up. Let's try a nine millimeter hollow point. I got one of those. Yeah, I got some, man. I don't want to we'll, uh, we'll give it a rip and see what happens. All right, guys, y'all ready? <laughs> if they're in there, they're not hot. Still in there, he ain't happy. No. Some of these I can literally see through. Open the door up. Oh wow. Oh man. If anybody needs a door panel, we got one extra cheap, slightly used. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme uh, Chancellor Ranch custom door. Yes, yes. Hell, for a good price, we'll throw in the car with it. All right, guys. This time, what we're going to test out is the 380 with hollow points versus the 9 millimeter with hollow points and windshield. And as y'all can tell, yeah, that side of the windshield's not too great, but we're still pretty solid here. As well as up here. Well, I'm hoping they watched our previous video of the uh, the Ranger sitting in the middle of the windshield. Yeah, yeah. If y'all haven't, I'll actually there'll be a link at the end of this video for that, for sure. But all right. So first round is 380 hollow point. Travis, whenever you're ready, brother. Well, that smoked it. Wow. I... There's no telling where it went because there's so many other bullet holes inside of the car. But, man, that little 380 is just impressive, bro. I, I'm, I may actually start carrying this every day for a CHL weapon. <laughs> I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> 380 is just it's impressive very impressive it's a lot more impressive than i thought it was going to be that's for sure now we got the uh the nine millimeter plus p round glock 17 gen 4. well the glass came back and hit me that's for sure but you definitely well, neither one of them have a problem with glass. That one punched through the seat too, man. Yeah, that right one was here. through and through. One of those. Yeah. You ready, man? All right, guys, so we did another test. We checked out 380 hollow point, or it's 9 millimeter hollow point, and we did some through the trunk shooting. Now I shot several times. This is the one 380. All these others are the nine millimeter. Actually, those two are 380. Both those are 380. These are from nine. Now, one of those 380 rounds actually went all the way through. As you can see, let me get the light right there. We go. That was one of the 380 rounds. Went all the way through the car. I mean, can y'all see that? Look at that pretty impressive it is and then a nine millimeter round that came through and then another one that went all the way through from the other side of the car but and then look at that hole that's one nine millimeter round you ready go for it brother we're gonna have some fun with travis wants to have a little fun with this five five six so here we go
Hit that side window, Travis. Which one, front or back? The the passenger window. Take it out. The one that. Well, do you feel better after that? <sighs> Therapy, man. Therapy. There it is. Oh, I love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. Right? I guess as long as we didn't set the interior on fire, we're okay. But Jesus, look at that damage. I was going to open the door, but you blew the door handle off. That's awesome took care of the mirror problem too yeah if you're in here you're having a bad day all right guys well that's gonna wrap it up for today's video um travis how surprised were you about a 380 i'm sold yeah, yeah that's uh not gonna lie it was my first time ever shooting one uh, my wife has had them in the past, but that's that's her round of choice, and uh, that's what she carries. Um, I obviously snuck it out of the house today, and we did a little playing <laughs> with it, so nobody tell her. Don't tell Chills. Um, <clears throat> but very, very impressed. I, I did not expect it to go in one side and out the other of this car, and uh, it, it is. packs a punch. Nobody talk any crap about a 380. It'll mm -hmm. Don't do it. Leave a hole in your chest the size of your fist, obviously. Obviously, yeah. obviously. But guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, me and Travis will catch y'all next time. Thanks again, guys. Thanks for everything. Freedom on America, guys. Go for it, man.